Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to look more at keyframes. In the last video, we keyframed just a basic object. We did some animation to that video track. Well, there's other things we can do. We can keyframe the audio. We can keyframe uh, different color effects or video effects applied. So we're gonna look at some of that in this video. But before we do that, I wanna bring your attention to the media viewer here and talk about something that we haven't really talked about in the past. And that is down here in this timeline area, we can click and go to different parts of the video. It tells us how long our video is, so two minutes and 44 seconds. Well, instead of just dragging down this whole video and then getting the razor tool and cutting out the parts that we want and deleting different parts, we can uh, save ourselves a little bit of time if we just choose the points that we want in this video. So most video editing software has this functionality. It's called setting an in point and an out point. So this part where my eyes are looking crazy, if I want that to be where the video starts, I can right click and just go to set in point. And it creates this blue bar. So now everything that's highlighted in blue is what will be brought down to the video clip, which means this first couple seconds will not be brought down to our timeline. Um, so if we, we can also choose an out point. So if I just wanna only get a couple seconds, I can right click and go to set out point. So now it's only gonna grab just that part. So if I bring this down now, we see it only gets that part of the video, which is about eight seconds. So the whole video is two minutes and 44 seconds. I only brought down eight seconds of it. Um, we can clear that. So if we, if we want, don't want that selection to be there, we can right click and go clear in and out points. Um, we can also, if we play this, this playhead will eventually go off the screen and it won't follow with what we're doing. So we can scroll over to find where that is. We can also adjust the size of this. It's not really intuitive how that works. So I wanna show this to you that you can adjust the size, kind of the resolution of that timeline by just resizing the actual scroll bar. Uh, okay, so let's get to playing with some effects. So we have this video here. Maybe let's do audio for the first one. So we can keyframe audio. All we have to do is come over to our audio effects and it's already enabled by default on this one. So we can change the volume. If we play this video, we see it has volume happening. With TJ Free. We can lower the volume by just lowering this down very, very low to infinity. Now there's no volume. Or we can make it louder too. I'm not gonna make it too much louder for you, but we can make it anything above zero is louder. Anything negative is softer. So let's bring it above here to like this three. Olive video editor. So it's gonna be a little bit louder now. But well, what if we wanna have it be go from soft to loud at a certain part of a video? Maybe you wanna lower the background music or you wanna lower the person talking or increase the audio, but you wanna do it uh, variably throughout the video. Well, we can set keyframes to do that. So what we can do is if we want it to start right here is where we want it to start changing in audio. Maybe we want it to be softer at this point. We bring our playhead to this point and then we go over to the volume and we set a keyframe. So we hover over we enable keyframes and it automatically places a keyframe at this point because remember this timeline and this timeline are the same. So if we move the playhead here back, it'll move the playhead to a different place here. Well, we wanted it to be to stay constant. So stay at this three decibels until it gets to this point and then we want it to go soft. We want it to slowly fade from here to here, fade out to infinity maybe and then stay from here on, stay infinity, infinitely soft, so no volume, and from here back, fade between the two, and then from this point to the beginning, be normal volume. So let's see if that, that accomplished that. This is a so we hear that going and then fading out. If we want it to fade back in, maybe at this point we just stopped it, all we have to do is adjust the audio at this point back to a certain volume and, it'll, and then that will create a uh, keyframe for us at that point. So we, remember, we can click and we can create a keyframe by just clicking this button, or we can also create a keyframe by just moving to a point in the timeline and making a change if keyframes are enabled, which they are in this one. So now we've got some kind of different audio. Teaching how to use the Olive Video Editor. And it's fading in and fading out. I don't know if you can hear it in this or not, but it's fading in and fading out. Okay, so that's the volume. Let's just go ahead and right click and go delete because we don't even need the volume. We can also pan like left speaker or ear and right speaker or ear, and we can keyframe that as well. In fact, almost everything you can keyframe in Olive. 
So let's apply a video effect now to this. So we come up here. We don't want to do transform, so I'll click to minimize that. Let's apply a, a color effect. We'll just do this hue saturation. I'll bring this over here so we can see what's happening in real time. If we change the hue of this, it just sort of changes the color here. And I'm just slowly scrolling through to get to a certain point. So if we change it like this, it'll play like this the whole video. But if I just want to, if I want it to have this kind of cool pulsing look, changing through different colors, I can do that. I just need to go to the beginning of the video clip, if that's where I want it to start, and it is. And I, under hue, let's set this back to normal, which, was it 100 or was it, no, zero is normal. So we set this back to zero, that's normal. And then, uh, by the time it gets, well, we'll just say, we'll just have it pulsate through the whole video. So we'll go to the last part of the video, and we'll keyframe, and then uh, we'll go to the beginning of the video, and we'll change this to some crazy high number. So now, I think when we play this, it'll create a, a kind of a cool look. Hi, I'm Rendon Ricks with TJ Free. This is a tutorial series teaching how to use the Olive video. So that's kind of cool, right? And we can en enable or disable that to see if it's being applied by just clicking this box here. We can right click and go to delete. Um, let's try another one. Let's go to a, we can do blur. If we just do like this box blur, we see that it blurs the video when it's up. So let's set this back, right click and go to reset to default. Oh, default to zero, let's actually, uh, 10 I mean, let's set it to zero. So there's no blur being applied. The, the effect is being applied, but the radius is zero, so we don't see it yet. And then we'll go back to the, well, maybe we'll have a part in the middle here. So we want to stay nice and clear at this part, and by the time it gets to the middle, let's have it blur quick and then go back unblur, like the like the camera lens is trying to focus or something on me. So what we'll do, we'll enable keyframes, and it did it at this point. And then we'll come a little bit further forward. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll come further forward, keeping it at zero, and then we'll adjust this maybe to like be pretty blurry like this. We'll come forward again, and we'll have it go back to zero. Oh. I forgot, default's not zero, default's 10. We'll have to go back to zero. So we can see what, we didn't really see what was happening in there, but we see it did create some different uh, keyframes. We did three keyframes. We didn't have to go in and click every time to create those keyframes, even though we can, because when we make a change, it automatically, look over here while I make a change, it creates the keyframe as soon as I make a change. I'm gonna select and delete these by hitting the delete key. And so we'll just see what this is. This is a tutorial. Blurs real quick and then goes back. So let's go, oops, see that again. This is a tutorial series teaching how to use the olive. So that's applying the blur effect with keyframes at you know different points. We can keyframe the axis too, but we're not gonna really do that. And again, this behaves the same way. If we want to change the resolution, we can come and scroll in here so we can just see the whole thing if we'd like to see the whole video clip that we have selected. Uh, let's do one more. I think you're, hopefully you're getting the hang of this. I'm going to delete that one. Let's apply, um, well, we haven't done any of this stylized yet. Um, this will just let us, so this vin, vignette, vin, vignette, vignette. Um, let's apply this here um, and we'll go where the settings on it. Let us change the circle size. This is a really popular thing to do. But what we want to do is actually animate this. So sometimes you'll just apply this to a photo and give it more of a soft look, help people focus on a certain part of the video. But we want to actually make this be more of an animation where it changes. So maybe we'll start the video. Let's right click, go to reset to default. At the beginning of the video, let's have it be completely black. And let's have it be like an animation in. So what we'll do is we'll go to the beginning of the video. Uh, we'll right click. Oh no, let's just change the size of this to all the way black. So all you can see is just uh, nothing. We'll do zero. And then we'll set enable keyframes. And then we'll go to the point, maybe by two seconds in, we want that to be all the way how we want it to be. So we come up here and we'll change this to being completely, maybe we'll just leave little things in the corner there. So now that I'll have this look. Hi, I'm Rendon Ricks with TJ Free. So we've kind of created a, a transition or like an intro just by keyframing the vignette. Um, we can change the softness and some other things too. But remember, if we change the softness of this, let's go back and we can change the, the look of this. So we go back to where it's happening and we can change this softness here. So it's like more soft there or like really hard, like a hard circle. That will stay constant. So that's not gonna change. It'll just stay constant through there. 
because that's not keyframed. We could also keyframe that attribute if we wanted to. We can keyframe all kinds of different attributes in here. We can do invert. That's when we probably wouldn't want to keyframe. That's just a binary one. So when we keyframe this, it's either on or off. It's going to, you know, create some crazy interesting things here. So we have this just going. This is a tutorial series teaching how to use the Olive video. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to end this video here because I think between the last video and this one, I think you've got enough um, maybe seen demonstrated enough that you can play with these. Just know you have to set an initial reference point. So you have to enable that keyframe. Oh, and I guess I'll reinforce that to get rid of them. If we click on here, we can disable the keyframes. And that just gets rid of all of them in case we don't want that want it to happen. And then the video is just back to how it was before. And what do we have down here? Hi, I'm... Now, what have we done? Oh, oh, the settings are still the same. So once we disable it, then we right click and we go to reset to default, reset to default, and then uh, uninvert. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope I didn't um, muddy the waters too much with this one. But uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, leave your questions below if you have any, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.